on the box office chatter for this week. I'm Clint. And I'm Brittany. We had the, uh, the honor of going to premiere theaters this week and seeing the movie Going the Distance. Uh, Brittany, give us the, uh, the synopsis on that. Okay, well, Garrett, who is played by Justin Long, has always had a problem with commitment and understanding what women want. He seems to be doing everything right until he learns the hard way that he cannot speak the female language when his girlfriend drops him. That night, his friends want to brighten up his spirits by taking him to a bar. He meets Aaron, who is played by Drew Barrymore, playing a game and ends up buying her a beer, then winning at bar trivia and having breakfast with her the next morning. Aaron is only in New York City for the summer and will be returning to grad school in San Francisco in six weeks. They start a no-strings-attached summer fling relationship that turns into a seriously meaningful love affair. They realize that they were meant for each other, but when Aaron returns home, will their love survive the distance between New York City and San Francisco? All right. So what was your uh, taking on this film? I actually really liked it. Okay. <clears throat> um, as you said last night, it is a very realistic movie, and uh, it really does show how hard long-distance relationships are. So obviously, I don't recommend it now after seeing that. <laughs> and um, it was really hilarious. I really liked it. I, uh, I put it in the category of many of the Ed Burns type movies out there where it, it's brutal in its honesty, including language and things like that. There's, it's an it's a R-rated movie, but there's no nudity or anything beyond crude humor and, and some language and that kind of thing. But um, the, the conversations between the guys, the conversations between the girls and all that kind of stuff was fairly realistic as a, as a married man and the, the um, trials and tribulations of being married uh, play upon and you remember those days of dating and courting and missing your girlfriends and all those kind of things. I, I'd say that's a pretty realistic movie, but it is very funny. The, the, the pitfalls of trying to court, trying to uh, have... Um, I guess you say relations over the phone. Uh, there were some very interesting and funny moments that way. But it's definitely not for kids. No, it, it's an R-rated movie, which has probably hurt it at the box office a little bit. It could have probably been a PG-13 and done better. But I think that the material was designed to be that realistic, this is how it is today kind of commentary. So what would you rate it? Um, I'd give uh, Justin Long and, and Drew Barrymore do a good job with this movie. I think the supporting cast do a good job. It was entertaining. I'd give it a 93. I'd give it about a 94. Okay. Maybe a 94. Yeah. It's got a good supporting cast, um, and it's, it's, again, worth going to go see this weekend at Premier Theaters. Uh, if you want to see what's on at the movies, uh, what do you call? You can call 446-6500. Or you can go to uecmovies.com or everythinguniversal.com, excuse me, everythingrockymount.com, which is uh, uh, the premier place for finding everything that's going on in Rocky Mount. There's a community calendar and links to premier theaters there as well. So I'm Clint. And I'm Brittany. And we'll see you next week. Next up, I think we have football scores, high, high school football scores here on the Early Late Show.